Assamalaiko. So basically, if you get like forbidden uh, kernel, uh, you can have solve it in different ways. I personally use VSL. It's really important to activate your venv, like virtual environment, and have all, all, all installations there because, as you can see, I have quite a lot. And I think uh, it, when you work with data science, data analytics, it's going to be like that. Now, when I'm here, you can see I try to current environment. It doesn't showcase here mine. And as well with other options, you can existing Jupyter server. So basically, I'm Jupyter notebook. If I write the uh, Jupyter notebook and activate it, and it's taking some time as you can see. And if you haven't actually downloaded this extension, actually, yeah, uh, you're right here. Okay, I have to allow root let's see what's gonna happen now for example i go here and i have this error right and if i for example put here localhost 800 it tries to connect but it doesn't and even if I add where do I have actually I don't get it so yeah and actually 8000 you can see it works here Thing five save save go back here uh, yeah as you can see it changes right so that it actually works but I cannot select the kernel or like the interpreter in that case what uh, I figured out what to do is actually a code R here and I'm gonna reopen it in uh, my virtual environment reopening it don't save and you can see I'm opening the remote try restarting it I think I don't actually have if the kernel is down but it actually doesn't matter. And I think this one is like uh, a lot more convenient using code slash R uh, with dot. Then you're instantly gonna have the environment option and uh, you don't have to uh, put the local host of the 8888 that's specifically for uh, Jupyter. You can see it's running, no issues. It's at the same time. Oh, as you can see, works well. And I can even just be there. Allow road. We'll run this one as well, just to be sure. 